Hi, welcome to Corosas. Today we're going to be looking at the frame comparisons between the current R6, which is the bike I have, and the R9, which is what I want to order. Let's get looking. Hi, welcome to Corosas. As you know, I'm moving from the R6 this side to the R9 that side. Um, what we've got here is the frame uh, sizing diagrams. Um, at the moment I've got a 56 or 560 here and we're just going to compare it to the uh, frame sizings of the R9 just to see if the 56 in each is similar. So um, we'll start off with uh, the stack height. Stack height is here on the R 656 the stack height is 579.2 on the R9 it is 543.2 so we're talking 36 mil shorter stack height okay the reach reach on the R6 is 386.9 on the R9 it is 385 so 1.9 mil Another thing I wanted to look at was the overall top tube length, uh, O. So on my current bike it's 564, and on this one it is 546, 545. So that is 19 mil. Might need a longer stem. Well, I've got a 120 on here at the moment, so if I put a 120 on there, I will be 19 mil. Uh, shorter, yeah, closer. I'm not an expert on bike fits. So we'll have a look at the fork length. Uh, fork length is 370 here, and fork length is 375. So the R9 forks are five mil longer. Okay, headset. And I want to call it a headset, but I know what I mean. It's the head tube. They call it HS. HS 175 on the R6 and 150. So even though the forks are five mil longer, the head uh, tube is 25 mil less. So it's all, all together 20 mil less. So it's 20 mil shorter downwards in this length and 19 mil shorter this length. So it's a bit more forward. As you can see, this one sits up higher. The angle is higher here, much higher angle. This one looks uh, flatter, as it were. So I think we have some spaces in there, because at the moment I've got mine slammed. With some spaces, we're going to probably uh, be okay to counteract the shortness of that. I can space it up to be at the same height, I'm thinking. As I said, I don't know how how all this works out. What I'm going to do is go to the local bike shop where I have my retool or retool fit uh, done and um, I'll get them uh, to put me into the nearest position they can um, on the new bike that I was on my old bike. So um, well, I'll probably have to play around with spaces and stuff. I'm definitely going to get the 120 mil length stem. I have to order that with the bike. I've got 120 mil length stem at the moment, um, so I'm going to reorder the 120 mil stem. I may go narrower in the bars. At the moment, I'm running a 42 centimeter bar. Um, I may go to 40, probably not to 38, but definitely 40. 42 sits outside of my shoulders, so um, by coming into 40, that puts me kind of where I'm going to need to be. The seat tube length on the R6 it is 527.3 and on the R9 it is 540. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm going to go for the 56. If anyone has got any more um, ideas of if I should go for the 54 or not, smaller frame, um, let me know because I'm not a scientist. I just picked the 56 because uh, that was what my original Roubaix was, 56. Um, so I went for a 56 again in the R6 
M, and I'm probably going to go for the 56 again in the R9. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. So if anyone's got any thoughts, um, that'd be really helpful in the comments. Um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and that's it for this part. See you on the next Kairos house. Bye!